Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. And uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, it is, I think, eight a.m. in the morning, and uh, I am heading to Zone Four today because I have an appointment with the doctor. I think one of my wisdom. uh tooth has to be removed and for that i have to do the scanning so i'm going there so there's a place in zone 4 where they do scanning and you know x-rays and everything which is just next to the prima center it's like in the straight lane of the prima center it is uh, simida this is what is the name of the place and uh, the dentist has uh, requested me to go and do the kind of scanning and then next thursday they will remove my tooth so i'm just heading over there so i'm thinking to go and have breakfast as well over there let me see which place i will go because i think i've almost covered all the places over there but i really wanted to have you know breakfast in a new place or probably the lunch i'm not sure but uh, yeah so i'm heading out there and this will be a very cool vlog uh, where we'll be going around different places and exploring different food and also seeing what i'm doing during the day so yeah uh, let's start with today's vlog and uh, yeah if you are new to this channel i'm tanushree i stay in abidjan I'm an Indian Ivorian and I show a lot of places in and around Abidjan and I also tell you a lot of information about Côte d'Ivoire so yeah if you are traveling here or if you are already here and looking for a lot of information regarding the country and the place so you are in the right channel so please do definitely subscribe to my channel so let's not waste the time and let's start today's vlog with my personal experience abidjan has got very 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 good hospitals and very good and professional doctors so after the simida thing i just came to sams abidjan which is also in ba3 opposite to marouche and uh, i'm having my breakfast come brunch you can say with my husband so we've ordered this very nice avo toast as well as a burger this place is actually famous for the burger so we've come here to have the brunch it's almost 11 a.m in the morning and i'm really 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 uh, starving so yeah this is my juice they have amazing cocktails mocktails and you know you will love anything you order it is fresh and they are really doing a great job with their food the menu is like huge they have a lot of burgers and then the different kind of you know pizzas they have italian they have a lot of stuff so if you are in abidjan you're looking for a very nice ambiance place as well as a good food then you can definitely come here it's not that expensive uh, i love this place and the manager also is super cool so you'll have a great experience at sams abidjan hey guys i'm back i finished what i had to do i had delicious breakfast come brunch in sam sabijan with my husband trust me the food was really delicious so uh, we finished having the food over there i was able to do my uh, scanning and i just uh, gave it to them the results uh, i got it in just 5 minutes i guess so i gave it for the examination or whatever they want to do with it and uh, It's almost the time to start working so I'm quickly heading back to the home and uh, once I'm back I think I'll just be on my laptop for today because whatever I had to do I did it in the morning itself one very interesting thing is uh, since the time I've really started like focusing on the content creation and uh, you know doing the food blogging thing and everything i got to meet amazing people amazing people I, because i think when you do something and you also get to meet a lot of people doing the same stuff you connect with them and you just like it just motivates you to do it more and more so recently i was lucky enough to to really meet a lot of travelers food bloggers and um, yeah it just uh, makes me you know feel like okay i should be doing what i'm doing and 
uh, you know take advices from them share the experiences and it's just lovely recently i've uploaded a vlog with uh, ansh mishra the vlogger i hope you guys have watched it already if not please go and watch it's a lovely vlog he is someone who is traveling across africa uh, via land so it's very interesting to watch him he has finished almost 27 countries and uh, i think there are still 17 or 18 countries left for him so uh, go and follow him uh, and on my last vlog i have already given uh, his instagram as well as youtube channel link as well i'm currently just crossing the uh, the third bridge of abidjan so i'll see you guys at home hey guys welcome back i'm at home sitting on my bed it's almost 6 pm i had no time after once i reached home to vlog i had back to back meetings and i couldn't uh, vlog anything else so i'm home i had my lunch i'm just clearing off some of my emails and uh, yeah after this i think i don't have much to do for today so I'll finish off my work which I have to do and then I think go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I wanted to buy like a study laptop bed table wherein I can just put that and you know work on it. So I'm trying to search for it. Someone told me that it is at Shik Shop. I went to search for it but I couldn't find it over there. So probably tomorrow I'll go and search it in the China Mall. Good morning guys. Welcome back. Today is Thursday as I told you yesterday that this morning I have to go pray so I'm all in Indian today so I'm just about to go I'm going from Rivera till zone 4 and uh, once I'm done with it I am probably going to the China mall because I wanted to buy I told you yesterday that I wanted to buy a table which is a laptop table which you can put in the bed and you know just work sometimes I don't really feel like working in the table so I will go and uh, search for that table in china mall and i will also show you how big the china mall is here the china mall here in abidjan and basam i think we have three china malls till now and all of them are like big two are in zone four and one is in uh, basam auto route yeah you'll just see on the auto route new road of basam on the left side big i think it's the biggest china mall so yeah there are a lot of stuff over there not very very expensive affordable so uh, i generally go for some things that i want to buy for house so i just go over there or sometimes i go to chic shop so there are a few options over here i will take you guys along with me to china mall today and we'll see what all stuff they have so let's start the cafe i wanted to show you how the ladies early in the morning do the food like you see these are mostly these utensils or vessels whatever you call it uh, they cook inside this they co cook different local sauce and then they sell next to the road so everyone who is passing by who is a local or who loves eating uh, the local sauce can just buy it from them their life is not easy because you know it's very hard these days in Abidjan and they have to you know cook and everything and then they sell the whole day but uh, i appreciate their hard work and here is the coffee thing that i showed you already in my videos so yeah this is the lane of uh this is the lane of inhabitation if you see there are big buildings over here so we are here so guys we finally reached to the china mall this is the china mall which is in zone 4 I'm going to search for my laptop table over here. I don't know if I'll find it. So guys, this is the China Mall. So basically, if you're coming from an Anglophone country, like in, from India or from Europe or from, you know, big country like uh, US, don't think that you'll find the similar uh, kind of malls over here. The mall sizes in Abidjan, it small. It was there, but it's We don't have like seems. huge malls, but like huge anyways, multiplexes and all. I'm so here, so I'll the show kind you guys mall you'll see, but the mall. We have everything. The good thing is you will get everything uh, you need over here and uh, the brands are not the same as Europe or other uh, 
indian countries but you have like all the alternative you will get of course the cost of living in kojiwa is quite high uh, i think it's is the thing with all the west african countries so it is super high here the cost of living so yeah if you are an expat then you know you will uh, get a lot of benefits from your company or from your business i i hope you like my video if yes please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button share it with your friends i will see you guys very soon with my next video till then take care bye bye